One and a half thousand bikes will ride the Absa Cape Epic. A multitude of brands, multitude of colors, but we think we might have found the coolest paint job in the entire race. So we managed to catch up with Eric Kleinhans at his shop in Stellenbosch, and he's gonna tell us all about the special edition Absa Cape Epic Canyon Lux. Eric, first of all, this paint job is spectacular. What was the idea? And uh, tell us about the, the artwork. Underneath the paint job, we've got the um, New Canyon Lux World Cup. It was covered by Hasi and the Robot and um, painted by Jarrett in a very special Cape Epic 13th edition for myself. Um, just because of the history with myself and the, and the Epic, and I think um, doing 13 is quite a big milestone. I know that next year is the 20th event. Um, if I'll ever see 20, I don't know, but 13 seemed like a really cool number and uh, yeah, and then obviously Asi and I kind of became friends through the, through the years and then he actually suggested it and said, why don't, he do, why don't he do a cool design for me? I had a frame available and yeah, he carried on with it and uh, made, it, made it personal for my 13th epic. So just a few of the details, we see some uh, cool little elements to it. Uh, take us through this, this uh, the Lion King, what's that all about? So in my racing career, the Lion King was my nickname, always had a, always had a wild um, bush of red hair. So the nickname somehow got, got formed and it, and, and it stuck and still now, you know, in the racing days, people, people still know me. So yeah, so you can obviously see the Lion King um, um, visible a few times on the, on the frame. Uh, a few pl a few things as well as Dorp, Stra Dorp Street is where I obviously live and where our shop is where we are now um, and our restaurant uh, and our coffee shop everything is here you'll see G Spot and Jonkersruk and then obviously quite a few of the lion the lion footprints so th those are all little things that are obviously important for me you can also see the what I also like in the detail is the Cape Epic and then you know it ticked off 13 times. So I haven't finished 13, I still have one more day to go, but uh, the whole idea is that this is for my 13th epic and it's called my Canyon Lucky Number 13 epic bike. So over here we've got Cognito and Mood. Tell us about that. So um, Mood is the coffee, as a coffee brand myself and my partner on Grunier started a few years ago um, that we have now two coffee shops in Stellenbosch and Cognito next to our, the Canyon Bike Shop in Stellenbosch is a, is a restaurant and it all forms part of one big um, active lifestyle community. So the restaurant as well as the bike shop. And obviously that's displayed on the bike because that's obviously um, things close to my heart. So Eric, you said you like to support the local manufacturers, the local component makers, and we see you've got a line dropper seat post. Yeah, so obviously we, we sell quite a lot of these um, through our shop. Um, obviously, I know Dale, the, the guy that made it, that makes all the line components. And it works really well. We hardly get complaints. And the nice thing about local is you always get good um, support, which is great. I also use the, the, the line um, multi-tool, which fits neatly under the, under the bottle cage. So it's very easy to reach when you, when you need it. You don't have to look for it in your pocket. So yeah, that's, there's definitely things that I like to use um, um, or like to support the more local guys. So from your days as a professional, your contact points are really important and uh, I see you've kept on, you've kept some of the uh, components that you had when you were, uh, when you were racing. You see you've also got a, an Ergon saddle. Yeah, so as, maybe I just got very comfortable with the, with the products, um, but I also think it's, it's, it's brilliant quality. So I think that they really focus on the contact points Ergon. Um, so yeah, the saddle and the grips is, is very obviously in, important for, for every bike, especially for an event like the Cape Epic, you, you know, where you ride for eight days and can get pretty hard. So obviously the saddle and the, the grips is, is, is actually quite crucial. Now, it looks like you're running a, a kind of a mixture between um, Shimano and SRAM. And looking at the crank, Eric, no power. No, I mean, since the, the you know, I'm not, I'm not a racer anymore, I don't really, um, how can I say, worry too much about the power anymore. I know that, you know, there's, there's still the master's category and all those type of things if I really want to go for it. But these days I like uh, to ride a lot more by feel, you know, also I don't have a computer on my, on my stem. Yeah, it's just not that, that crucial. I ask Peter obviously often now in the Epic, you know, when I get a little bit tired or um, then I ask him how many kilometers is, is to go. So I still get the feedback from him. 
Eric, today was a day of rain. So tell me a little bit about, uh, about this thing that I have here in my hands. So this is uh, the, well, what is left of Peter's front brake pad. Um, obviously there was a lot of mud and a lot of rain. I mean, even on, on the climbs, you can hear how the sand and the mud is chowing your, your, your front brake pads. Um, as you can see, there's not much left of it. I think um, even aluminum behind, you know, like the, the rotor went straight into the aluminum through the, through the resin or the metallic pad. So yeah, there's not much, not much left. And if there was one more downhill to go, it would have been in serious trouble. One last question, Eric. Take a guess how much your bike weighs before we wear it. Absolutely no idea, but I would say 12 kilograms. Let's put it to the test. 12.4. Kilograms.